Hey everyone, it's the Crafty Coffee Bean here, and I have a small little haul that I wanted to share with everybody. Um, it's a collective haul from Dollar Tree, as well a couple as well as a couple things from Walmart and one item from Michaels that I had gotten. So I'm gonna start off with the Michaels and Walmart um, stuff since it's not that many. Th it's not too. It's not so many um, items, so it'd be uh, quicker to go with it first. So. The first thing that I got from Walmart is this really pretty colorful um, journal. Let's see if I can adjust a bit. Um, and it's this journal right here. It's just a plain line journal. Um, mainly because the fact is like I have a journal that I've been working on right here actually move this aside I have this crafting journal that I've been already um, working on and I was hoping to find another journal similar to this one because I think it's let me see yeah it's the exceed brand journal but I haven't been able at least at my Walmart I haven't been able to find the larger books that have the dots paper like on the inside here. I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up because of the lighting. But, um, let me see, zoom in. Okay, if I get a little closer, you can see that it has little dots. I prefer the dots because of the fact that when I'm doing decorative journaling, um, such as this, for an example, um, the, the, the dots don't really clash with, you know, the designs that I'm doing here, which is, um, kind of why I prefer um, this because it, it doesn't stand out too much versus the lines but because I couldn't find any that were like especially this big size I prefer the bigger sizes just because it gives me more room to write and more room to decorate everything so that's why I personally prefer this size but at the same time too I'm not too against line paper because it does make my writing more um, you know, it, look, it looks more clean and straight because of the line. So, and, and this was inexpensive too. I think it was like $4.97 or something like that for this journal. And it's hardcover too. So I'm like, eh, I'll make an exception for this one. I'm not completely done with this one yet, but I'm looking to hopefully start a new journal. So I saw this and this fun colors and I have a bunch of stickers, um, that I have that I want to use to decorate it with. So I figured, oh, this will be perfect because it's blank. I can add word stickers and a bunch of other stuff for this. So I had gotten that. Um, and then along with that journal, um, I just got some Uniball 207 gel pens. Uh, because I was actually talking to my brother about this because I'm a bit of like a stationary snob because, um... I have different kinds of pens for a multitude of different things. I have packs of large packs of pen that I like to use that don't bleed uh, through paper, but they still write smooth. I like to use that for my school notes and for everyday things. But sometimes when I want to maybe journal or doodle, I like to have super highly pigmented pens that the best way I could describe it is that it kind of like when you're writing with the ink, it looks very wet, but it's not going to bleed through, but it's a nice bold black color. And I really enjoy that for when I'm doing small doodles in my journals or when I'm just, um, um, jotting some things down or just doing a little bit of like, if I'm having a bit of like a crafty or artistic day, I like, I just like pens like this. So, um, I was trying to find one that isn't too terribly expensive just to try out. And I think this was like two thirty seven for these pens. So I thought I would try these ones out and see how they worked. And then I just got this pack of heart stickers to use for my crafting journaling. And then from Michaels, did I say Hobby Lobby? I felt, I think I said Hobby Lobby earlier when I met Michaels. Um, what I got from Michaels was this, um, I think it was like, I guess it's at this point two weekends ago because they were having a sale on their hot buy paper products. And um, so that I know they have a bunch of different pads of paper and I had gotten some, but I already put them away. But um, I had left this pack of stickers there because I wanted to show them, but they had a couple of different like planner, because th sometimes recollections 
has these sticker books that go along with the paper, um, I guess, theme for the pads. And so they had a couple of those, but some they didn't have the paper for or the sticker pad or vice versa. But I mainly got this one just because of the fact that it has all these really cute um, animals just to use for what I'm doing my crafting, my uh, crafty journaling, as well as sending uh, decorative cards to my friends and just for sending letters to friends and for holidays and decorating my planner. I just thought it was a nice cute little book, especially because I think it was like buy two get one free. So whatever was the cheapest out of all the uh or the three things that you got, that would be your free item. And in this case it, the sticker book was my free item. Um so I thought that was a pretty nice deal. Okay, so now for Hobby Lobby. I keep saying Hobby Lobby when I mean the Dollar Tree, my goodness. Um the big thing that I wanted to share from the Dollar Tree that I'm super excited for are these pouches. Okay, so for a lot of you ladies out there, I know, especially those of us that, you know, are planner junkies, little bags like this are a necessity solely because of the fact that when they're clear, you can see everything that it everything that you're storing inside here, whether it be your pens, your markers, your clips, uh, washi tape, all that stuff. I love these bags. I'm actually using, I have a couple that I've actually been using to store some of my pens because they may look kind of small, but they actually expand to a decent size to hold quite a lot of pens. I mean, it's that plastic vinyl and I don't know why, especially around summertime, I get really obsessed with like that plasticky vinyl um, material. So I had gotten, I think, one of each color before, but because I love these bags so much, I had to get a couple more. So I got two of the striped little pencil slash, I guess you could even use it as a cosmetic bag. And that's the beauty about these kind of bags is that you can literally use them for anything that you want. I just use them for stationery because that's usually what I need containers for. Um, and then I got this kind of like paint swirl pattern. I got two of those also. And then these are the cutest little vinyl bags that I have seen. Like, if you had told me that you got this from the Target dollar spot, I would have believed you. would be like, oh yeah, you know, that's something you'd find at the Target dollar spot. But at the Dollar Tree, I wouldn't... I. I wouldn't have believed you at all, but I'm just like, these are so cute. They're decent durability. It's not like those um, plasticky uh, bags that sometimes you'll find in the, in the um, school supply section. These are actually a nice vinyl, and they're a good size too. This is both of my hands on here, and I've got small hands, but this is a good size bag. And so I've been actually looking for bags like this that are clear to store a lot of my um, sticky notes, notepads, and stuff of the like in here, but still being able like to store them away, but still be able to see what's inside. And so I love the pattern of the dinosaurs, the unicorn cats, and the unicorns on here that I was like, I just had to pick this up. And so I had gotten one, two, three, four. I had gotten four bags, but two of them I'm thinking about actually giving to um, some of my friends to send in the mail to them. Um, so I have that there. Um, but I'm really happy to find those. And then I found some new stickers, and I think this is just part of like the new summer line that they're doing because. I found a couple like these before, but um, I think it's, I've only seen them come out recently. So I think this is just the new line that they're doing for the summer. Kind of how like they do with the dishes, but sometimes they do with the stationery um, and whatnot. But I had gotten a couple of stickers like these before that kind of look like these metallic bubbles. But, um, so I had gotten the newer ones that I saw just because I love the way they look and the way they pop out. They're nice little embellishments. I got this one here. 
this one I really like the face and the um, colorful <laughs> theme of this one and then the one with the emojis I thought these this was super cute so I got these three little like balloon metallic stickers and then I just found this one here um I've never seen these before but they're supposed to be called rainbow corns but they're cute they're you know adorable looking so I was like I, I know for a fact I can use for my crafting journal and then speaking of crafting journaling whoops I got two packs of these super cute like 3D pop-up like dessert stickers and these were so cute that I had to get two of these because I know for a fact I'm going to use them. I picked up these alphabet stickers because I'm actually working on making a, um, a birthday card for my boyfriend for his um, upcoming birthday this month and I was using um, the wrappers for Pokemon cards to actually decorate it because every year for his birthday I always do a particular theme. In this case, this year, I'm going with the whole Pokemon thing because he's been on a big Pokemon kick. He's always been on it, but it, he goes through these phases where he'll like something in, uh, intensely for like a couple of months and then it kind of dies down and he goes on to a new thing that he really, really, really likes, but then he comes back to it. So it, it just cycles. But anyways, so I got these because I had the, the, the wrappers are uh, a dark metallic color, but I wanted something to kind of stand out from it because I was also using like gold trimming because a lot of them had gold in the theme already. So let me actually go get it and I'll see what you guys think. So this is actually the card that um, I decorated for my boyfriend and I did the, um, this metallic tape here, I actually got it from the Dollar Tree too um, in like the arts and crafts section, but I did that because I thought it would complement everything very well because of the fonts here. But so I got these in the hopes that I would use the silver on the on this card here, but now I'm wondering um, because the fact that it's a clear sticker if it's still going to be able to show up well enough to spell, you know, happy birthday on here without taking away from that. So I don't know. I'm kind of reconsidering, but maybe you guys can let me know if that's a good idea or not, or leave it as is because I just decorated them like the back with cards and then with the wrappers because, uh, since he goes through so many cards, I was like, Hey, you know, a lot of them have really nice artwork. So I was just like, well, let me save the packaging cause I'm pretty sure I can use it for something. And I'm actually going to probably do, um, maybe a decorative, uh, crafty journal theme using the wrappers because I still have a whole bunch left over that I try to preserve, but that's what I'm working on as my little crafty project right now. And I just wanted to share. And then speaking of birthdays, um, this is not, I guess, really a whole lot crafty related, but um, I got just these metallic little balloons to use kind of as props for my boyfriend um, to take a picture with since I always, um, every year for his birthday, I always do something different, but I always try to have like little props like this to show, you know, what age he's turning each time, just, you know, to kind of be a little extra for his birthday, but that's just me. <laughs> um, I already opened these up because I was really curious about trying these out, but I found these new metallic ink pens from the Dollar Tree. And honestly, these work very well. They write smooth. The color ink is actually quite vibrant. These are definitely something that I can see myself using in my crafting journaling or just for writing for whatever. These are actually very smooth, good pens and I would definitely pick these up if you guys are into pens and stationery. And speaking of stationery, another segue. I know these are kind of old because um, I think these came out several months ago, but my Dollar Trees never carried them until I found them one day when I was looking for something completely different and I was just like, <gasps> now that I found them, I was like, I have to pick them up because this is the pastel cute little rainbow two pack. I got that one, the cute little space themes. This one's adorable. And then I'm obsessed with succulents and green leafy plants. So this one had to be a must pick up. So I got that, which is exactly what I'm gonna be putting into these clear vinyl larger bags. And then I just remembered that these aren't from the Dollar Tree. I actually got these from Dollar General, but they're just these cute little um, 
Baby Yoda stickers that I'm going to use for, you know, cards, journaling, planner themes, all that jazz. But, um, so that's what I got just for my small little haul video. Um, I'll probably show some more progress pictures, uh, when I work on the card and anything else, other things that I'm doing. But I hope you guys enjoyed this small little haul and I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you.